<laughs> Make I laugh more. Tinubu don't they run up and down in a Chicago State University. They don't say they are amazing. Say poto poto. Right now, so they talk right now. Now, so they talk. Na 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 na. Chicago State University. They don't lock all their accounts. So be say Nigeria. They fly bottle. Ah, Nigeria not too much. I give una buzak 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 buzak. Here ya una too much. Ige i i i. They fear Nigeria so. Nigeria match enter anywhere where they see Chicago State University that they ask questions. I come who na give certificate na man na be na woman because the one we find they say na woman no hey mo na see yo. <laughs> na they see so they say na this woman and they see for database from the year nineteen zero zero to the year twenty sixteen they check all the files they ransack them from end to end from back to front. Left and right, they no see Bola Ame Tinubu. Best the way they see na Gloria Tinubu, the most closest to the Tinubu who they talk. Hey, my people, this one not be anything. No, they say people will go find this information. Are men of Kantiba and Kintiba. <laughs> they say this file so nobody name where you know go find for all the states, all the university where they the USA. As a whole, it's as if they don't find your name again. That means that person not they, he not go that school at all, at all. In fact, now this one, now he call me Bola Amend. Can't say right letter go Chicago State University. I say, beg, I use God to beg una. In the room from bloggers, see if una drag leg come and say I beg, make una not give them any information. Now this one, I call me Chicago State University. Lock all account because they don't want to hear anything Nigeria again because Nigeria they give them back and front and another. Where they call the Ants Chicago State University, why be say, I come that they celebrate any student of theirs if they be top person for society, maybe they be minister or they be governor or they be president. I come on a not congratulatory say, message give Bola Ame Tinubu when he become president of Nigeria. I come, no be only Nigerians, nine day inside this matter, other nations they. Question Chicago State University say our commoner give Bola Ame Tinubu certificate and yeah that they talk say that certificate is forgery but you guys cannot come out and make a statement so right now they are not questioning the authenticity of Chicago State University which means that Ebola Ame Tinubu was able to bribe his way through using that university as a cover up that means other people have been doing the same thing my people hey I will let the other video week attached to this very news make it play this one consign uh, Kwakwaso and the other matter where they run down my people hey make I live with that not to like gist this one a BOD TV but they will analyze all the trends so they happen. Here ya a hello a wa we say wa ko yo oya boko na carry the go just before the 2023 elections. I remember when I had a conversation with Alaji Buba Galadima at the time, he says, Look, they have everything well put together as far as the party is concerned, that we will see political science in action. Well, in the party, there seems to be that um, the center is no longer holding, as now some members of the party will say they are the BOT, the board of trustees of the party, have suspended the NMPT Fly Biera and the leader of the party, Senator uh, Rabi Musa Kwankonso, Senator Kwankonso, a former Kano State Governor, who came forth in this year's presidential election, was suspended by the group led by the NMPP chieftains Boniface Ania Bonam and Agbo Major. The group led by Ania Boma and Major were suspended uh, at a special general assembly meeting at the Rockview Hotels in the Papa area of Lagos. But in Abuja, uh, you know, that's part of what they said today on your screen about what they called anti-party activities that Mr. Kwankoso is involved in. Now, Mr. Galadima and uh, the national chairman of the NNPP and a few others were also uh, in Abuja today. They had what they called the neck meeting where they said they've expelled Mr. Agbo Major and Agbo Nama and now uh, what is exactly happening within the, the NNPP? The question that one will be wanting to ask. Uh, Elijah Buba Galadima joins us live. He's one of the uh, founding fathers of the NNPP. Thank you so much Elijah Galadima. You boasted, you told me that look you are experienced in uh, putting a political party together 
but things are falling apart in your party. <laughs> no, Sherwood. We are very much intact. Really? Yeah. You have split the groups now? No. No. Your friend, brother, Let me leader, first. Hong Kong has been suspended. Well, you, I'm hearing that from you now. I thought well, what I saw now. in the, in the social now. media yeah. was just like uh, Nollywood or Hollywood jokes. Now you are confirming that social media event. First, let me make a small correction. Those that were expelled were Dr. Boniface Okechuku Anya Bunam. You didn't spell it very well. Okay. Uh, 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 apologies for the wrong spelling of the name. Yes. And uh, Major <coughs> Gabriel Ag Agbo Major. Let me first say that uh, we thank the founding fathers of this party who had the vision to form new Nigerian People's Party some 21 years ago. However, the party remained almost comatose until we came in last year, resuscitated it, give it life, give it tonic injection, and it became what it is today. As you have seen, a lot of people in this country are interested in this party in the sense that they felt, the other parties felt that they could only survive if they destroy this party. But unknown to them, we are as solid as the rock of Gibraltar. Who are these people that you are legend? That are those to those, those who fear Senator Rabiu Musa Konkosos profile. Who are these people? Uh, you are a journalist. You, can, you are an investigative journalist. I'm giving you a challenge. What, because what? those that sponsored those why, people. Why do you send us on an unending uh, um, when I can tell you when now. you can easily say it? Because there are those who will say, look, Elijah Baba Galadima is just uh, not saying the truth because, look, uh, there are no persons that are, that are after the NNPP. NNPP is after itself. There are those who perhaps no. will say that. No, 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 no. You know, there are a lot of things going under the carpet. After our research of these elections, you know we didn't go to court. We discovered that even in the Northwest alone, Ponkoso scored about 3.963 votes, which had not been accounted for. 3.96 million votes, or which, were, which has not been accounted for. And in Bauchi, when we went to court, all the two major parties connived to make sure that they rigged us out in court. And one of them accused the other of having helped itself in about six or seven local governments. And a recount was made. In that recount, it was discovered that NNPP had 160-something thousand extra votes that have not even been accounted for from the 90 that they gave us. In Nasarawa here, Nasarawa here, I'm taking one state, one zone after the other in the north, in the, in the north. Nasarawa here, our candidate went to court. They gave him 11,000 votes we discovered that he scored 117,000 votes. They just canceled seven and left 11. And you can also see that there are a lot of issues coming on Kano. That's a subject that we will address on its own when it resurfaces. 
because some people felt that oxygen must be removed from Concourse's North. If he survives politically, they are in trouble in 2027. Is this a fight between Ganduje and Kwan Kwanso? I say when it ripens, no, because you will be the first person to Just for a moment, just, just for a moment. If you go let's to not, Kano, let's, let's, just for a moment, let's not divert uh, from what moment, brought me And here. I'm mentioning names now because there is a Kwan Kwanso in the mix, which you, you have mentioned in Kano. We know for sure that there is an opposition, which is a, form, a former governor and the national chairman of the APC, Dan Duje. Uh, is he the only opposition you have in Kano? You have some opposition in other places I say at the national level. Mr. President will know that he has taken a scorpion and put inside his pocket. Who is the scorpion? Ganduje. Why do you call him a scorpion? Is that right to call him it's a former governor. Why? If he can why stink, if he, if he can stink his benefactor. Who is that? Senator Rabi Musa Konkoso, that next to God, he made him what he is. There is no way that he will not do the same to Tinubu. And Tinubu should know that even as a today, he's been isolated from those under him because they take decisions and ram it on his throat without him really knowing. I am saying this so that he takes note before they throw him under the bus. Let me take you to... Let's, go, let's go to what we... Let me, let, me, let, me, let me take you up on the Kwankwanso matter and the suspension. Um, yeah. Just today, uh, they, they are accusing him of anti-party activities. And you will see, you will remember, he met with President Bola Tinobu of the APC. You've seen pictures of him with uh, former vice president and PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. Is this enough evidence to show that he's actually involved in anti-party activities? Thank you. Now you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are yourself an investigative journalist. <laughs> like you move, I Since you element. know all Go this. On. Go ahead. Look. The president had tried to see Konkoso on several occasions after the election. It didn't happen. And they agreed to meet in France. Konkoso had to bring the national caucus of the party and told them, look, the president wants to see me. What's your position? Everybody in that meeting, about 13 of us, spoke except myself. Where was the meeting? In Konkoso's house. In Abuja here? Yes. And uh, all of them, except myself, I didn't speak, not because I didn't support, but because I know what was happening. So it's, for, it's better for others who didn't have the privilege of knowledge of what is happening to, to make their opinion known. And each and every member of that National Caucus said, why don't you go and hear Mr. President out? So, to cut a long story short, they met in France. They agreed to work together to uplift Nigeria and said they should come back and talk and, 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 and carry their constituency along. They never met until the second time. The second time they met was when demolitions of Ganduja's properties. It's not the property of Kano people that was being demolished. And Ganduja is a devil. Sorry, that's, that's, that's quite extreme. You so I withdraw. Uh, I, put, I mean, that, that's, that, that's extreme. I withdraw. But when you, when you let the bullet... It's very difficult for you to catch it. Mm. Because I wonder, I wonder why you, you lose God to have described someone because as a devil. Because I am, I am, I am, I am in tension. Because I have already reasoned that I have very little time left to live on this earth. And I can't see the Nigeria I had all my life, over 70 years, worked to see working well 
for you and me and our children. I'm frustrated that only bad people succeed. So, Konkoso came to him and said, look, this demolition, look at this, look at this, this look at this place. The company belongs to so-so-so. -so. Look at the CSE board of directors, Ganduja's people. Look at this plot demolished or this property demolished. Look at the owners. All of them linked to Ganduja. But it doesn't mean that he owns them. They might be friends, family members, or those who are related to him in one way or the other. Does it mean that he owned all of them? That may not be factual, isn't it? To say that Ganduja owned all of the houses or the, the, uh, the properties that have been did, demolished. Did, 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 did we say your name was there? I'm, t I'm saying. For I said, did we say your name was just there? A moment. I'm, I'm just asking. No, no, I'm not. We are not parallel. No, I'm, I'm, not not I'm, I'm just saying that we have to be factual on the program and what I, we tell I say, Nigerians. I say, I say. If you say that Ganduje own all the properties that are being demolished, can, could that be factual? That's I the say, question. I say, I say, is, was your name there? Why wasn't your name among those that whose properties were demolished? I don't own a property in Kano. Thank no. you. Thank you. So, he explained to Mr. President the situation, what is happening. And uh, the president said, oh, sorry, I didn't know that it is like this. That after all, I gave instructions, but that will be stopped. I don't want to mention what instruction. And they went ahead and started what they were doing. Well, sir, well done. You, 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 I, I, I no, no, I'd like to ask a question at this point. Then the was a plan? You know, he met, you know, he met, he met, he met Mr. President three times. The last time he met Mr. President was that we wrote a letter to Mr. President. We, NNPP, wrote a letter to Mr. President that this is the rumors we are hearing and that you are people in Kano, this is what they say on radio. This is what they say in the social media. That irrespective of our clear victory in Kano, that cannot be controverted in any court of law, they still say Kano is too large to be left in the hands of an opposition party. Therefore, they will take it by force, as they had done in 2019. So that's a big fear for your side. If you, are, if you are in my shoes, what would be your position? Has there been a conversation with the president and Mr. Kwam Kunso about making Kwam Kunso a member of President Tinubu cabinet? Member, I mean. Yes, member. no. Yes, no. Yes, in the sense that he was supposed to be a minister. And no? No, because of... It was dropped later on. If they said they will work together, working together entails anything or nothing. I can work together with you. So, now we are working together because so, we, are, we are having a conversation. So the alliance between Bola Tinobu and Kwan Kwanso has fallen. It's not alliance. It's not alliance. Kwan Kwanso is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a nationalist, patriotic Nigerian who means well for this country. So is that the same... Uh, connotation or the same meaning you will draw into Atiku Abubakar and Kwankoso meetings? As a politician, as a politician, we can meet with anybody. After all, we are meeting with you the other time. I proved it that you didn't vote for us. I never voted. I've not voted in a long time. So, so but I'm we, a, we I'm, still I'm, meet. I'm a, I'm a we still converse. But the question is that if they allege that Mr. Kwankoso is involved in anti party activities, and some of he these took permission from us. But why are the Mr. Agbo Major, unfortunately... Who is Mr. Agbo Major? Major Agbo in your party. Is he a member of the National Caucus? Of the NNPP? Yeah. Is, is, he not, yeah. is he not a National Public Secretary what of the party? What does that mean? Unfortunately, he was just supposed the, to speak the... to us, but we understand that there is a lot of noise uh, in the background. <laughs> uh, he's supposed to speak to us from... So, 
whatever is the case, Congress had the permission from the party to go and talk to Tinubu and talk to any other political group. So he didn't do it on his own. These so, people, how do you resolve this matter with uh, uh, the national, uh, the, the, the persons that met in Lagos today who are now in opposition against the Concourse do you of know, do, you know, do you know them? How do you resolve uh, it? How many of them do you know? Are you aware of Agbo Major? I say, I, of course, National for Policy Secretary. So what a do member you do? Of, a, member of the, a member of the National Executive Committee of the party. So what do you do? You say you, you have expelled? He has been expelled. He's not a member of this party. And he knew because he, he, the, all of them that were expelled were called to a disciplinary committee and they were drilled and they accepted their, 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 their sin. And it is on the basis of the acceptance of what they had done that they, they were recommended f to the National Working Committee uh. for expulsion. And the National Working Committee took a decision on behalf of NEC. And they knew, they knew that 21 days ago today, we wrote INEC that we are holding a National Executive Committee of the NNPP because you have to invite INEC mm. To sit with you. I like you, Just let me. We need to go. Let me. You let me, let let me let both said to me a few months ago just, that you said that your political sagacity will be brought uh, to bear. Is this what you're talking about? Your party that is falling apart. When you didn't even allow me to land. You land, land. But so, I, so we wrote, we wrote INEC. They knew we were meeting today. INEC will be there. They, that the National Executive Committee will expel them. That is why they, they thought they would do a counter coup by seven of them aggregating in Lagos to say that they've expelled Konkoso. In this today's meeting, all the members of the National Executive Committee, except Major, were present. All, right. all the state chairmen, 37 of them, were present. All the members of the National Assembly in, uh, 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 of our party were present. All senators, all House of, House of Assembly members of our party, our governor was also there. And me, the only member of the BOT, All right. minus Anya Bonam, were there. We, and we took now. this decision yeah. with INEC, INEC present. Mm. Therefore, they remain expelled from We need from to go now. Party. Thank you so much. I like you, Boba Galadima, for joining us. But I still remind you, you boasted to me that you will build a party that is better than all political parties. It's not? barely six months after the election. Your party is almost barely up. But well, thank you so much. When we have everybody for speaking to in us, the meeting yeah. today, and someone is expelled, only one person is your national leader. <laughs>